Understanding Wage Floor. Hello there, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into an important phrase in the world of work and economics. Wage floor. Don't be intimidated. By the end of this video, you'll grasp its meaning and be able to use it confidently in conversations. So, let's get started. Wage and floor are two words that have their individual meanings. But when put together, they paint a distinct picture. Let's break them down. Wage. The money paid to an employee for work done, usually measured on an hourly, daily, or monthly basis. Floor. When talking about limits or ranges, a floor represents the lowest possible level. Combine them, and you get wage floor, which refers to the lowest amount an employer can legally pay their workers. But why have a wage floor in the first place? Well, governments set wage floors to 1. Protect workers. This ensures they earn enough to meet basic living costs. 2. Reduce exploitation. By setting a limit, employers can't underpay or take undue advantage of workers. 3. Promote fairness. It helps in narrowing the income inequality gap, making sure everyone gets a fair wage for their work. It's essential to know that wage floor might not always be used in every context. Some common synonyms are minimum wage. This is the most widely recognized term, referring to the least amount an employee should be paid per hour, day, or month. Baseline wage. Base pay. These terms often circle back to the idea of a wage that shouldn't be crossed downwards. And there you have it. The term, wage floor, demystified. Remember, it's all about ensuring that workers are paid at least a minimum amount for their efforts. We hope this video has shed light on this important phrase, and you can now use it with clarity and confidence. Until next time, keep learning and expanding your vocabulary.